Scientists have developed a new method for 3D printing artificial muscles, which can be incorporated into humanoid robots to create maximum resemblance to humans. The first prototype of an ultra-realistic humanoid robot marks the beginning of a new industrial robotic revolution. A high-energy signal of mysterious origin has reached the Earth, which scientists are trying to decipher. Samsung has developed the world's first autonomous marine vessel control system. These and other high-tech news in one video. The world is on the brink of a revolution, or more precisely, we are already living in the era of the fourth industrial revolution. However, another revolution is on the horizon which could truly change everything. We are talking about the revolution of humanoid robots, universal intelligent and dexterous machines capable of not only assisting but also replacing humans in narrow spaces, from heavy unskilled labor to hazardous experiments in high-tech laboratories and everyday household cleaning. Robots of this kind have been discussed for decades, but what has changed now? The answer is simple. The readiness of almost all the technologies needed to create sophisticated humanoid robots. Moreover, just this year, we have witnessed a tremendous leap in the capabilities of generative artificial intelligence algorithms, and this will undoubtedly influence visual perception, understanding, and physical capabilities. The first prototype of an ultra-realistic humanoid robot, which served as the foundation for further developments, was created by engineers from Disney Research. They designed a humanoid with realistic facial expressions capable of maintaining eye contact. Engineers used the robot's neck, eyes, eyelids, and eyebrows, enabling it to move its lips and jaw. A depth-sensing camera on the chest allows the robot to see people and react to them by mimicking typical human facial expressions. The robot's role is defined as an elderly person with poor vision and hearing, reading a book and frequently getting distracted by passerby. If a person approaches closely, the robot either looks disapprovingly or, if it has already seen them, recognizes and reacts in a friendly manner. The camera monitoring movement speed and gestures helps the robot determine whether the person is showing interest. Depending on this, the robot either responds to the passerby or not. A high-energy signal of mysterious origin has reached the Earth. In 1991, astronomers detected a cosmic shower of ultra-high-energy particles dubbed the Oh My God event. More recently, Earth experienced a cascade of particles with slightly less but still highly impressive energy, named after the Japanese sun goddess Amaterasu. They arrived from a part of the universe seemingly devoid of anything, and their origin remains a puzzle. Researchers are currently unable to answer where these high-energy particles came from and what their nature is. The direction of their arrival points to a void in the large-scale structure of the universe. The source of such rays is also not obvious. It could be the explosion of a supernova or the merger of a black hole with a pulsar, but there is also the possibility that it is something entirely different, an unknown astronomical phenomenon that goes beyond the standard model of particle physics. Perhaps extraterrestrials are sending signals to Earth. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrial life? Share your opinion in the comments. researchers from the University of California, San Diego, have developed a new method for 3D printing artificial muscles and wearable devices. The researchers demonstrated that by controlling the printing temperature of a liquid crystal elastomer, they can regulate the material's stiffness and its ability to compress. Moreover, they can change the stiffness of different sections of the same material by subjecting it to heat. As proof of concept, the researchers used the same inks to 3D print several samples with stiffness and compressibility ranging from 0 to 30 percent. For example, one area of the structure can contract similar to muscles, while another can be as flexible as tendons. Samsung has developed the world's first autonomous marine vessel control system. The autopilot system was showcased on the Samsung T8 tugboat with monitoring conducted from a shore-based control center located 241 kilometers away from the tugboat. The company demonstrated both the autonomous movement of the tugboat and the remote control of its maneuvers. Additionally, the onboard collision prevention system was tested. The 38-meter tugboat, with a gross tonnage of 300 tons, successfully completed a 9-kilometer journey without human intervention. Throughout the entire journey, the autonomous maritime navigation system maintained the tugboat on the specified route, identifying potential hazards and adjusting the course accordingly. The Leipzig-based startup Da Vinci Kitchen has developed a robotic kiosk that autonomously prepares Italian cuisine. It takes only six minutes for the kiosk to prepare pasta and up to 10 minutes for more complex dishes. The device can simultaneously cook two portions and after that, clean the dishes in just 30 seconds. The advantage of Da Vinci Kitchen lies in its modular design, making it easy to reconfigure for preparing salads and dishes from other cuisines worldwide. The kiosks have already undergone testing and are now available for purchase. 
The company Shark Robotics has developed a useful payload shark for the Boston Dynamics Spot Robot designed for disinfecting hard-to-reach spaces. The Spot Robot can disinfect up to 2,000 square meters in 15 minutes in places such as hospitals, subway stations, warehouses, offices, and other facilities. Shark consists of a 5-liter tank and 12 nozzles for the micro-spraying of disinfectant solutions. This system ensures a 360-degree diffusion. Spot's unique mobility allows the robot to disinfect spaces by navigating through complex environments with stairs, staircases, uneven floors, and avoiding obstacles. CAMC completed the construction of the first two-story house using the largest 3D printer in Europe in just 15 days. The printer BOD2 is fully autonomous and controlled by a single person using a computer. The house will now serve as a demonstration of the capabilities of 3D printing in the construction industry before being repurposed as an office building. How do you like this spider robot? Take note of its body covered in artificial skin that breathes. The development is equipped with a central neural controller based on a pattern generator to generate respiratory movements on the skin. Why is this necessary? Researchers from the University of Southern Denmark believe that such breathing skin will increase the biomimicry of robots and foster trust from humans. The researchers argue that if a robot breathes, it will make it easier for us to interact with it and elicit more sympathy. A new artificial intelligence enables robot dogs to overcome almost any obstacle with minimal training. Researchers from Stanford University and the Kizu Institute in Shanghai have developed a new algorithm based on computer vision that allows robot dogs to navigate various obstacles without detailed training for each one. Based solely on visual data, understanding their own capabilities and accumulated experience, the robot dogs autonomously decided how to navigate obstacles, achieving amazing results. A key achievement is that the experimental robot dogs became autonomous decision makers. They independently assessed obstacles in their path, correlated it with their agility limits, and chose a solution. To achieve this, scientists combined perception and control using data from a depth camera installed on the robot and machine learning to process the information and control leg movement. These are not the first robot dogs demonstrating such agility, but they are the first to combine autonomy with a wide range of skills. The team conducted experiments with real robot dogs to demonstrate their new approach to flexibility and maneuverability in complex conditions using standard computers and visual data. Improved robot dogs overcame obstacles exceeding their height by more than 1.5 times, leaped over simulated gaps longer than their length by more than 1.5 times, crawled under barriers three quarters of their height, and leaned to slip through a gap narrower than their width. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.